Hello, this is George Senda, the one, the only, the official, the original, the authentic, the real, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no YouTube commentators, imposters, or trolls. And I did a video of approximately an hour, and at the end of the video, live video last night, I was just about freezing, no stimulus money, as of midnight, my uh, Android phone is dead, I'm waiting for the new phone to come in, no internet at home, but I have decided one thing, with probably 4,000 videos and well over a million views, because YouTube is missing three days of um, uh, video views on analytics, they were missing one for weeks and two, now it's three, uh, I am no longer going to do uh, live videos longer than 20 minutes. I'm getting no financial support, no donations, no super chat. I people want to watch everything I do for free, and it puts wear and tear on my body physically to sit in this chair or sit on a street corner because I don't have any internet right now. Um, and I've never gotten uh, a lot of financial support in live streaming, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Tomorrow, Kathy and I will do a live stream, 20 minutes. That's long enough for you to get notified we're on, and then we get off. And she feels the same way I do. If you're not willing to support this channel financially, then she or I don't need to do the work to have you see us in videos. All right, that's it. 20 minutes is going to be the li new limit now for live streaming, unless I get Super Chat. It has to be at least $1.30 cover the 30% that Super Chat takes out. So, if you're not going to support my efforts, I have to spend money on cat food, cat litter, equipment, devices. I get no support for any of that except for one or two people. Then I can't see the point of my getting up. When I get up out of this chair, I am in physical pain. One, because the chair digs into my back. But I've been sitting too long in one position when I'm doing a video for one or two or three hours. And there's no support from my viewers. So if you're not willing to support me, I'm not willing to do the videos. Okay, that's it. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great morning. It's 1.29 a.m. I came home just about frozen. Got really, really cold. At around... 1202, check the bank balance, still nothing, my credit card's been paid, so that's good, the rent's paid, that's good, I have to give PG&E money, they can wait till next month, they only owe them $20, and uh, so almost everything will be paid when Kathy comes, uh, now they're saying the new date is the 6th, there's another one on the 9th, there's another one on the 15th, and the 12th of never, so who knows when the stimulus will come. But I'm not getting stimulus from the government either. And finally, one guy came in. I'm a con man. I don't deserve not a stimulus check. I don't deserve normal benefits. Well, you know, you can go to hell. I'm on Social Security income. I'm disabled. If you don't think I'm disabled, too friggin' bad. Uh, these hands go numb. My feet go numb. I've said this repeatedly. I have three crushed discs in my spine. The spine presses on the sciatic nerve. My legs and feet and toes go dead. This rotator cuff is torn again. No repair. Ankle, no repair. Two knees, never got repaired. The right knee, when I fractured it, never got fixed. It should have been right away. So I looked it up. And that's how I gained a ton of weight. And I have trouble breathing. I have asthma, COPD. I have to take Lipitor for cardiovascular problems. I have high blood pressure. If you think I'm not able, if you think I'm able to work, you're out of your mind. And I wouldn't go to work full time anyway. I'm 68 years old. I've worked for a long time. I didn't make enough money to cut, get Social Security regular benefits. I had long periods of illness and unemployment. But. Uh, you know, I'm conning anybody out of the, after I pay my rent, I have $695 a month to live on. And somebody said they were amazed I can live on that. Why? Well, 
That's with cat feeding and everything else, including my cats. And I just spent the last uh, hour taking 40, 84 pounds of cat litter out of the bags into uh, jugs. And then I sifted the cat box. So that is how I spent the last hour in the bathroom, scooping stuff out into the two-liter bottle, picking it up, putting my finger in it, putting it in the jug, filling the jugs. I've got four and a half jugs now filled in there, and the bags are empty. Now I've got cat litter all over the floor, but that, that happens. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay warm and dry or cool and dry. Stay safe. And if you want to see longer videos, then start supporting the channel. Otherwise, you aren't going to see them. I'm not going to do them. Bye.